if you're just walking into the space and taking photos and and that you know I, 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 I'm not aware that the municipality so is the, charging for that but the reports haven't come that there are specific people charging a thousand US to use the space for videos um, uh, no no that's not us uh, they would, and, and that's not us but have uh, you got reports about about that, mm -hmm. I, I, not in any serious way. Mayo, we are looking at redeveloping downtown Kingston, and I'm wondering what can we draw from Namibia in terms of those plans? Well, the re redevelopment of downtown will cut across many areas in terms of, for example, infrastructure, urban development. You, there is no redevelopment of downtown without dealing with your sewage infrastructure your water infrastructure, and, 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 and it's obvious, you know, you're going to take far more people into the city space, so the demand on the infrastructure will be far more. So your infrastructure has to be either replaced or upgraded. And the Namibia window has shown that it has, it, it has many best practices and, and it has mastered, for example, the area of waste management has a very good system there, method there for waste management. So there are many things we can learn with respect to, to the development of the infrastructure to, to, to as part of the, the redevelopment of downtown. There is also the, the cooperation in tourism, in the area of tourism. Kingston is pursuing a, de a destination city to become a tourism city. And henceforth, also there is room for cooperation here. So I would say that in terms of cooperation, best practices is important in the, the methods and systems used in, in, in various areas in, in window is also important to us. For example, I know they have been looking also at cooperation and, co cooperation and collaboration in terms of housing, your housing infrastructure, the redevelopment of your downtown space here. It will not take place unless you address at least some of the issues relating to housing and housing solutions. So the areas of cooperation and, and the benefit to Kingston with respect to our vision and, and the transformation project is, 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 is here. We can see. So as you know, we would have been very strong on the cruise ship in, into the Kingston Harbour and the floating pier was constructed and is operational today. That's a major, major feature of the redevelopment project. We are now looking at the waterfront area as a major focus point, a focused area. The central government is also very focused on that area. So there's synergy between the central government and the municipality in terms of the redevelopment of downtown. So I, I, to say to you, the next major step in this transformation project would be the waterfront. The waterfront. And the, the redevelopment of downtown, the transformation, will go through different steps, different phases. One is because of the resource constraint, so you have to focus the resources in, in strategic areas and continue to build, to, to build that out. So if you're looking towards the end of the project, it will take you from here. But I would say from here, on, the next focus point would be the waterfront. That will be a major catalyst for the redevelopment of downtown. And it needs these, it needs these kind of projects in this redevelopment transformation project that will spur the confidence within the private sector because the private sector involvement is critical to the redevelopment. And so hopefully when we focus on this on the, the waterfront area and then from that you'll begin to get a far greater private sector investment in, in the downtown area. And in the transformation project right now we can say that we are we, are we satisfied? No, but we are quite pleased because the, we have had huge investment in downtown. The Rock Hotel is, is there, and, and there are other inv investment in the in private investment in downtown. If you go, for example, along Water Lane, you'll see a, a lot of renovation of buildings and taking place in, 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 in areas across, stretched across the downtown area. I believe there are far more investment in, in downtown and in the renovation of offices and, and business, uh, offices for business and in, in buildings and structures and investment in business, 
it's like, you know, you have Burger King, you have, you have all these other these fast food chains. We are, we are trying to get as much more into the downtown space. So I would say that a lot is taking place and some, some things are taking place quietly and people don't realize. How much is they, that going to cost us? Yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm going to have those figures <laughs> right now. I know the, the World Bank visited recently. We had discussions mm -hmm. with Very them. Good yes, they came here and they had discussions with us. They have had discussions with the with the central government, with the Minister of Finance, with the most honorable Prime Minister. And and I believe we're all on the same page. I believe the municipality is on the same page with, the, with central government in terms of how we develop downtown, how we reimage it and and reignite it. And I so I'm, we are quite confident in the in the, the redevelopment of the downtown. The parliament oh, um, the new parliament is also another major transformational project and that is slated to start soon and that's also another major project in this in the transformation of, of, of so the what of the people and the um, relocation um, to be more specific so we're redeveloping downtown obviously there are spaces that uh have housing now if i can call it that what what's going to happen to well yeah, that's what i'm saying there is no redevelopment of downtown uh, to be complete in terms of a redevelopment housing and and their approach to housing in the downtown space has to be very clear that is something that the government is looking at and is pursuing and uh, as to say whether or not the government has is complete in terms of that process i would say no but but housing is something that we're looking at seriously and we know the spaces and 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 we're looking at it. There are many pockets of, of residential housing in the downtown area. Our view is very clear. We are not looking for a downtown space minus housing. <laughs> uh, we we uh, we want a downtown space that is a mix of business and housing. And finally, Mayor, KCMC has spent some time beautifying areas of downtown, uh, their mural, their paintings. But we're getting reports that people are being charged to take pictures and videos in front of these. Uh, can you speak to All right, So the municipality is very clear on that. We don't charge for people to go and take a photo. For the, the murals, when we, the, the idea, when we envisioned the space, it was primarily for to create these ledger recreational spaces for people, for both visitors and residents to just come into and relax and enjoy and interact with the history. Which if interacting with the history is also taking taking photos. And so we don't charge. If you're going to use the roadway for an event, so you're having an event and you're going to use the roadway, there are regulations that govern that. And so if, if you're having an event on the street, you have to get an amusement license and then you have to go to the police and get the, the permit under the noise amusement act. Those are only, I would say, that would be the only charges and fees attached to the space. If you're having an event, uh, which is, which those are governed by, by laws. Uh, if you're just walking into the space and taking photos and and that, you know, I, I, I'm not aware that the municipality so is charging for that. But the reports haven't come that there are specific people charging a thousand US to use the space for videos. Um, uh, no, no, that's not us. Uh, they would, and, and that's not us. But have uh, you got reports about? About that? Mm -hmm. I, not in any serious way. Folks, who can the public expect the fruits that this, this partnership? Though? The fruits? Well, I, I believe that the fruits have started. We have started to see the fruits, and I believe that over the next year, two years, you will begin to see the blossoming of the relationship. And then in the long term, it will be, in my estimation, will last for generations. But, but for example, the, the games, the, the Window Kingston games, is something that we will pursue. And it will take us a few weeks to put together the, the working group. Which, and, and we have already said that we're establishing two separate working groups, one to look at the window, the Kingston window games, and the other to look at the, the reggae festival. And but, but not just limited to a reggae festival, it's really looking at, at cooperation in the area of culture and, and also we had committed with Windhoek that we would assist Windhoek in terms of 
events promotion and entertainment products, developing entertainment products. That's something that we committed when we were in Greenlock and that's something that we will continue now.